We're going to look at this particular infinite series, which has a special name. It's called the harmonic series. And we're going to claim, or what we're going to show is that it actually diverges. So we'll just write out the first few terms actually to, before we do anything. This is one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth. Now, if you're like most people, your intuition is just that, well, I mean, you start by adding one, and then the partial sums would become one plus a half, and then one plus a half plus a third. Most people's gut instinct is that this converges to something, right? It, it, this is not infinity. But it turns out they're wrong. This actually, this infinite series turns out to be infinity. So we're going to show that, and the way we're going to do it, um, there's a way to do it using calculus and areas, but instead we're just going to show this, which is, might seem surprising, but it turns out to be true. We can show that this is bigger, that this series is bigger than this one. So again, the claim is that this diverges, and we're going to show that it's bigger than that series. So the series on the right, remember, is just, it's a half plus a half plus a half plus a half right so you're just adding a half forever which is clearly infinity and we're going to show that this that the harmonic series is bigger so the way we're going to do it is we're going to look at the partial sums so the first partial sum is just a one the second partial th sum is one plus a half now I'm actually going to look at the fourth partial sum so I'm going to skip to the fourth so the fourth partial, partial sum would be 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth. Now what we can do at this point is make this claim. I can say that that is definitely bigger than 1 plus a half. Now I'm going to replace that 1 third with a 1 fourth. So I replaced it with something smaller. So clearly the the fourth partial sum is bigger than what I just wrote on the right side of this inequality. But if you if you add up these terms, this is one plus a half plus two fourths, so it's one plus two halves. Now let's go to the eighth partial sum. This would be one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth plus a sixth plus a seventh and be all the way to that. Now, I already know that this is bigger than 1 plus 2 halves because that is the fourth partial sum right there. So this is bigger than that plus, um, well, if I replace each of these, each of these terms here, I'm going to replace the 1 fifth the one sixth and the one seventh. If I replace those with one eighth, each of those, then I've gotten something that's smaller than what I'm looking at here. So this is um, this this. So that expression has to be bigger than one plus two halves plus an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth. But if you add up all those one eighths, you get another half. Oops, so it's not bigger than, it's equal to 1 plus 3 halves. So just note the pattern here. I've shown that the first partial, I've shown that the first partial sum, well that's 1. I've shown that the second partial sum is 1 plus a half, okay. I've shown that the fourth partial sum is bigger than 1 plus 2 halves, and I've shown that the eighth partial sum is bigger than one plus three halves. If I go to the sixteenth partial sum, right, one plus a half all the way up to the sixteenth, I can show through the same reasoning that that's bigger than one plus four halves. So, what does this mean? It means that the 
partial sum that represents 2 to the n, so the 2 to the nth partial sum, right, because I'm looking at 1, 2, 4, I'm looking at powers of 2, I can always claim, I can always show that's bigger than, and I'm going to put the or equal to only because of the first two partial sums, those were just actually equal to um, what I'm about to write here. Um, those, that will always be bigger than or equal to 1 plus n over 2. Right, so if when when n is a three, it's the eighth partial sum. I showed that that was that was bigger than one plus three halves. Now the point of this is that that must mean that the limit, as n goes to infinity, of that partial sum, would have to be bigger than or equal to. that limit, but this limit is infinity. So, of course, as n goes to infinity, right, that, that that's what I'm, the, as n goes to infinity of the partial sums, which I basically have written here, right, as n goes to infinity, uh, and it, 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 that is essentially giving us the infinite series, but we just showed that that's bigger than infinity, which means that these terms up here sum up to infinity, so it diverges. So that is, what you want to appreciate about that fact is it's as though if, if I were to take, if I were to just say oh, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take one step forward and then I'm going to take a half a step forward and then a third of a step, and let's just say each step is measured in, in one, f in feet. So I take one, I step one foot forward, then a half of a foot, then a third of a foot. In theory, I will walk around the world an infinite number of times. So... Um, very counterintuitive, but you want to memorize this particular harmonic series, and it leads into um, the next video in which we're going to talk about um, the P-series in general.